day 15. This is Redhead Goes Healthy. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am on a 21 day reset challenge where I'm focusing on my mind, body, and soul. Feel free to check out the video posted above or just take a look at the daily goals that I've listed down below. We are on week three, final stretch of this 21 day challenge. I am super excited to uh, be here and keep going. I am not planning on derailing myself, very aware of my self-sabotage tendencies, and I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna make it. I think I'm gonna make it to the finish line. So thank you all for supporting me on this journey and those of you who are also doing your own version of your reset challenge. And as you guys saw, yesterday was my weigh-in video. So I am down a total of four pounds and I'm still super excited about that. Uh, my last weigh-in video will be on day 21, just in case you're interested. So I'd like to just jump right into things today and let us continue with Martha Beck, The Way of Integrity. All right, we are finally at Purgatory sounds really scary. I actually think the idea of purgatory is more frightening than the idea of hell. I think it's just the idea of cleansing yourself and healing. I find that that idea is really, really painful because so far in our reading, we've just been sort of exploring why we are lost and acknowledging the ways in which we have lied to ourselves and acknowledging the ways in which we have harmed our own inner child and have betrayed our younger selves. And so now, now that we've recognized all that and admitted it to ourselves, we are about to begin the cleansing process. She tells us that it is the hardest in the beginning. So buckle in. Now that we've acknowledged that we've been lying to ourselves and betraying ourselves, the first step is pretty simple. Stop lying. But you have to want to change. You have to actually want to be somebody else. You have to want to better yourself. And here's where that inner teacher, our soul guide, comes into play. Because this process is not easy, the process of growth and change, there are gonna be so many moments when you wanna turn back, when you just wanna go back to what was comfortable to you. But here is where that inner teacher can help you and guide you and remind you that yes, this is hard, but it's worth it. So a quick exercise that she talks about in these 10 pages, I will share parts of it with you. Again, I highly recommend you buy the book if you wanna do all the exercises that are in the book, do the work. But this exercise is, is deceptively simple. Pick a time, period of time, maybe like a week, and then pick a period of time within that week. Let's say, you know, when you're at work, when you're around people, when you're with your family and make a commitment to stop lying during that period. Stop lying about how you feel. Someone asks you how you are, you tell them how you really feel. You don't lie. You don't just say, oh, I'm fine, how are you? Do that for a full week and record how all of that made you feel. And she warns us that this, this process can be very scary and we'll talk about tomorrow, I think, what strategies we might need to employ when people react negatively to us expressing our truths. But I'd be so curious if you do watch this video and you do decide to do it, how did that go? How did that go for you? I know I'm gonna do my best to try it, but it is a lot of work. It is a lot of work to just be brutally honest, not mean, but brutally honest with other people about how you're feeling, about you know certain situations, what you actually wanna be doing versus like what you're just saying yes to because you might be a people pleaser. So good luck with that. And I will see you guys tomorrow for the next 10 pages. All right, now let us talk about the body. Uh, today's another regular calorie day. Yesterday was a regular calorie day. Uh, went up to 2000 calories. If you saw my video from yesterday, I really appreciate the fact that I've decided to just make Friday, Saturday, Sunday, uh, regular days. Um, and for those of you who don't know, I'm filming this like a day before. So for you, it's Monday, which is a calorie cut day. So I'm probably not as happy, <laughs> but in this moment, I'm happy because it's a regular calorie day. 
I also got a really good workout in on my treadmill. So yesterday I did that 75 minute Peloton bike ride, which was great and exciting. And then I decided, you know what? I wanna jog again. I wanna do another 30 minutes and let's see if I can shave some time off of my mile time. Let's see if I can improve upon what I did last time when I did the 30 minutes. So yeah, I went at a full minute faster, I think, right? Like, so I, I actually hit two miles within 30 minutes and I am gonna be paying for that for the rest of the day. I have this like headache from just bouncing up and down. This treadmill is just not the best. It's a very cheap treadmill from Amazon. If you're interested, I will link it just because it is like a good starter treadmill but I really, really want a better treadmill. So I'm gonna start saving up for that. Uh, ideally, I would, like I said, I wanna get the Peloton treadmill, uh, but that baby, that baby is expensive. So that may not happen. All right, finally, let us meditate together to some nature, enjoy.
All right, read 10 pages, check. Close the move ring today. Today was excellent with that jog, 800. Total calories burned, 2,500. Check, one gallon of water, no problem. Follow this plan that I made up for myself. Today was a regular calorie day and I had 1,900. So check, meditate for five minutes, check, and film and upload this accountability video. I will see you guys tomorrow.